Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and high grenades. Today we are taking a look at this uh, rifle and uh, I just realized something. Yeah, we're gonna need a scope for it. Um, so let's go get a scope for it quickly. Because it is uh, useful to see. Let's do a standard red dot. There we go. So, now we're ready. Welcome. So today we're taking a look at this. This thing, it looks a bit like a scar if you ask me. But it is definitely not a scar. It's from the other side of Europe, in a way. This is from the Czech Republic. I almost said Czechoslovakia. It's not Czechoslovakia. It hasn't been for a long time. But this is from the Czech Republic. This is the CZ Bren. 806, it's also the ZZ Bren 8052 or something like that. But in game, it's the Bren 806. So, what is the Bren 806? Well, it is for the development of the Bren 805. And the Bren 805, it started its development uh, in the 70s or 80s, in fact. So, as uh, you might know, before. Uh, when uh, when the Czech Republic was uh, or when the Czech Republic was Czechoslovakia and it was part of the Warsaw Bloc, the they did their own thing and they had their own rifle, the VZ58. Lovely rifle. Check out my video on it. Uh, wherever I have a video on it. However, it was uh, quickly out of date. So in the 70s or 80s, there was a. They started looking. At a new, more modern rifle. They were thinking about chambering it in 5.45 Russian. And through the 70s and 80s, development on the Bren 805, as it were to. Uh, not Bren 805, on the ZZ2000, as it were to be known, for the civilian market only, started being worked. It had a project code name I can't remember. However, 89. The Soviets were pushed out of uh, Czechoslovakia and there was a split. You had the Czech Republic and you had Slovakia. Suddenly there wasn't any money, so the Czechs they kept on using the VZ-58 and the Slovakians as well. In 2016 however... No wait, in 2006? 2000, in the 2000 however, the Bren 805 would be adopted by the Czech Republic. And... Uh, we're not quite here yet. And well, based on some feedback by the Czechs, the the company that made it, some Czech company, I'm not gonna bother trying to pronounce it, they made some improvements. Which finally brings us to this very modern rifle. They never released a rifle in 545. This is 556. It is uh, standard compatible. I will uh, see if I can demonstrate that. If we just go to... Uh, Assault Rifle, uh, sure. This is also a Stanag mag. Ta-da! Ta-da! So, it is Stanag compatible. This is the 5.56 rifle. Uh, it has Picatinny rails up top, on the side, on the bottom. It is a short recoil gas system, if I recall correctly. It has a collapsing stock, so you can adjust for uh, what, whatever length suits you, and it is foldable. It has a charging handle up here, just like this car. And with that, you're ready to go. So, uh, take it off safety. And since it doesn't have any iron sights, we're using this red dot, as you saw. And... Uh, So, since it is Stanag compatible, of course, it has all the mag capacities of the Stanag mag, so you get like the drum mags, the it's a Winnie 5 rounders and all of that. But of course, the standard one that comes with this gun is a 30 rounder. And on top of that, 
It has a bolt hole open. So that's easy reload. Now let's turn on full giggle. This is of course an assault rifle, so it comes in semi and full auto. Oh yeah. Fun fact, since uh, I mentioned this looks like a scar, which in my opinion it does, when uh, the Czechs were choosing the CZ 805, the two rifles that were in the competition at the end was in fact the CZ 805 and the FN Scar. Of course, it being Czech made, the Czech rifle won out for the Czech army. And I believe the Slovakians and some other armies also used the CZ 508. Mm -hmm. But I am not sure if any army uses the 806. Let's see if we can hit that target. Easy. Now that far one. I can hit it. Anyways, we've uh, talked about the CZ 806 long enough, I think. So I do hope you all enjoyed watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, in the next one, we'll talk about the CZ807. So I'll see you then. Bye.